Hi, I'm Kathy from Absolutely Fabulous at Home here in New Minas. Today we're going to look at cutting board health. Now you think cutting board health, what does that mean? My cutting board, how can it be unhealthy? We live in a very dry area in the winter. Um, we have our heat on in our houses. We subject our cutting boards to all kinds of abuse because we're making all kinds of wonderful meals. And if you have an Epicurean cutting board, you might be putting it in the dishwasher because you can't. This is a beautiful new board. As you can see, it's all the same color, very nice. This is what it looks like about mm, 14 or 15 years down the road. It's been well used and possibly abused. So what Epicurean came out with, something called board butter. And on the weekend, I was looking for something to experiment with. And I took a little bit of this board butter. All it is is beeswax and mineral spirits. So very easy to use, nice solid form, no messy oil. Comes with a sponge applicator. You just take it and you just wipe it on your boards. It's not going to eliminate the scratches. Those scratches are there because of the knives. But what it is going to do is feed or nourish the wood. All Epicurean boards that are like this, the one I showed you, the new one, they're all made from a wood composite. They're chewed up pieces of wood that have been epoxied together under great heat and great pressure, which makes for a very sturdy board. But like all boards, mine's been going through the dishwasher for 14 years. It has begun to dry out. The heat's on in the house, which is causing more drying. So I'm just going to give this a quick rub, and I'm going to leave it so you can see how it changes the color. This is what it should be. But board butter is not just for cutting boards. It started on the weekend when I pulled out my salad servers for supper, and I was a little embarrassed at how dry they were. You can wipe it on your salad servers. You can tell they're dry when they have no shine. You can feel it because the wood feels rough, kind of raised. And yes, there are other things you can use. You can oil your, your wooden products, but you have to be careful. You can't use all food oils, like olive oils and things like that, because they go rancid. So what I like about beeswax is it's not going to go rancid. It's also not going to leave residue. So I was just going to let this sit here. If I were doing this at home, I would probably let them sit maybe for the rest of the day and then I might pick them up and if they seemed a little bit sticky, give them a little bit of a buff. But you can see already what a beautiful sheen I have. You catching that? And here as well. It'll work on all of your wooden surfaces. So this little cutting board where it won't be, not, won't be so dramatic a change in color. If you could feel it with me, you would feel there's a roughness here. And as soon as I use the beeswax on it and the mineral spirit, what the mineral spirit does is it softens the beeswax so that it can be manipulated a little bit. Beeswax will get very, very hard. So again, I would let this sit and then maybe at the end of the day, I would just give it a little buff. And it's harder to see on this, but I can feel it. I have a nice smooth board. It's absorbed the beeswax. The longer I let it sit, the more it will absorb. And I, honestly, I will have extended the life of my cutting boards. And isn't that what we all want to do? Maximize our expenditures. Well, there you go. Epicurean board butter.